Look Van Willy, uh, the top uh, seed of the 10th Leiden chess tournament. Look, how was your experience playing in this tournament? Well, it was fun, but uh, okay, I was here also with my wife and with my, uh, my little son. So, and we were here also on, for holidays. So, okay, of course I was trying to win the tournament. I was uh, still expecting to win the tournament, although, well, uh, it was not so, uh, well, I was not really preparing very hard, but uh, still I felt like I had, I had a big edge here. But, uh, well, in the end, uh, it didn't work out. So, uh, which was the game you think was uh, the turning point of the tournament for you? Well, things were going pretty smoothly till around six when uh, I was playing a young Dutch player, uh, Thomas Beertsen, and uh, we, well, we got in some kind of sharp uh, line, but we both uh, didn't uh, prepare for that line, especially for th this game. But uh, but I felt like I should uh, I had a big big advantage there and uh, but uh, I missed uh, the the um, the right uh, way to play. And if you had to select one favorite game from this tournament, which one would that be? Well, not for myself, but uh, but let's say the 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 prize was given to the most spectacular game. It was actually quite a nice game. Uh, um, uh, between uh, Arthur Pipers with White and uh, Frank Wentling. Yeah, so that was a very nice game. But okay, I had some nice games, but but not nothing spectacular. But it was more like uh, uh, mm, you know that I had some messy games, but uh, well, in, in the end, I was I was just uh, uh, winning them. But. In, in general, I was kind of happy with my play, except for two games where I think from one battle position and the one uh, winning position, I made only half a point. So that's uh, if I if I make one and a half, which is not asked too much, I would just uh, win the tournament uh, easily. So what is now next uh, on the agenda for you? Uh, which tournaments are coming up? Yeah, I play the, the one now, another tournament in Holland in, in Vlissingen. It's also, I go there with my wife and with uh, my little son. So, it's also holidays. And actually, mm, I told my wife that um, if I win this tournament and Vlissingen, then uh, I have no reason not to take them to the Dutch Championships later in August. But, uh, well, since I didn't win it, uh, it's going to be a problem. However, uh, she claims I was behaving um, so badly here in this tournament that at least I should add, add at least one point to my score. So, so it, the final word hasn't been set yet. But, uh, but okay, I will play first blessing, then the championship, and then Olympias. And after that, uh, I have to run the, myself the, the Hogeveen tournament in Holland. Ah, okay. So and uh, how how has your life changed as a father? Like you recently became a father. How is life different? It's still the same. It's very busy, but it's nice to have a, a different uh, way of being busy. It was uh, uh, it, it gives some more uh, dimension to your to your life, and uh, I'm looking really forward how the guy is going to uh, develop. And uh, already in in six weeks. Time, uh, he, the guy made a lot of progress and uh, interaction and stuff like that. So and and well, basically, I, in this um, time in my career, I'm really I think moving towards coaching and education. So it's, so this my little son fits uh, perfectly well in, in that uh, in my plan. So chess is on the list for him. Yeah, in future you would teach him to. Uh, well, that's a very tricky question because uh, um, he has. If he if he wants to play chess, he should become a better player than his dad. So, but I don't want that uh, the shadow of his dad is always over him. So, it, so, so. But okay, I, I. He, he if he wants to play chess, he plays chess, but. Uh, if he plays uh, football, I'm happy to play football with him, or basketball, or or whatever poker. It's also fine with me. 
Okay, last question to you. Uh, you will be in the team for the Olympiad. How do you assess uh, the Netherlands uh, chances in that event? Um, it really depends on uh, on form. Let's say uh, now okay, bit, we are a bit worried about the form of Anish Giri, especially you know that in um, his mind might be with his wife who is pregnant and expecting a baby in October. So that's uh, something to worry about. Uh, then. Um, uh, we have some guys like uh, some young players like uh, Benjamin Bock who can play very well, but also well, he's kind of inexperienced player. And uh, and myself, I can play very well, but also very badly. So it it, it can go either way. Of course, we like uh, like uh, India uh, did last Olympiad uh, to score a medal. If, uh, to be honest, if India can do it, we can also do it. Eh? It's not such a big difference. Eh? Uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, both teams have uh, their their potential. But um, if it uh, if you can really uh, optimize our potential, it has to be seen. But uh, first of all, team leader Anish Giri is uh, is okay. Probably doesn't feel very well after the latest results in Bilbao. Okay, thank you so much Luke and all the best for listening in. Yeah, thank you.